Have you ever sang in the shower and felt like you should be singing on stage in front of thousands of people? There is a reason why we like singing in the shower so much, because it's full of reverb. In fact, this used to be a common way to record singers and certain instruments, like guitar amps. Stick them in the bathroom or any room with lots of echo, and when you record, the microphone will pick up all the natural reverb of the room. These days, we tend to record in dry rooms and apply digital reverbs and delay afterwards while mixing, to give a sense of space to the instruments and to create beautiful or crazy special effects. Reverb and delay are two of the most common tools we use in music. That's why I'm going to explain to you exactly what each one is and the difference between them on today's episode of Sound Basics with Stella, a video series in which I'll introduce you to the very basics of sound engineering and music production. A reverb is created when a sound is reflected from the surfaces of the objects around you. Walls, furniture, whatever. Causing a large number of reflections to build up and then decay. Although, you don't have to be in an actual room to create reverb effects. You can also create artificial reverbs using springs, plates, and very commonly, digital processing. Let's take a listen to a few examples and you'll hear what I'm talking about. I got a vocal track here from a song called Hits by Totemo. First, I'm going to play the track dry, without any effects. Take notice of how the sound feels very close and upfront. It almost sounds like we're listening in an airplane cabin. I'll talk slow face down so you might come around. With smaller words, you better construct the sound. Now I'm going to play the same track with reverb on it. Notice how it sounds more natural and pleasing to the ear. I'll talk slow face down so you might come around. With smaller words you better construct the sound. Almost every style of music uses reverb, some more than others, but even a little bit of reverb is usually needed to make an instrument sound naturally in space. Let's hear a drum kit with no reverb at all. Similar to how we might hear it in rap or hip hop, for example. Now let's hear the same beat, but with lots of reverb. The way we might hear it in a pop or rock song from the 80s, for example. We can also adjust our reverb to sound as if our instrument is in a very big room, or it can be a small room like this. Reverb is probably the most popular effect used in music, but like with any effect, if you use too much, it can spoil a good track. Many times, either instead of or in combination with reverb, we also use something called delay. Reverb and delay both create echo effects, but with the delay, you can create timed, very specific echoes, whereas with the reverb, the echoes build up in a more random way. Here's the same vocal track I played for you before, with reverb on it. I'll talk slow face down so you might come around. With smaller words, you better construct the sound. Now here is the same track, but instead of reverb, I'll use a delay to create a single echo. In my mind, my mind, you're the very essence of the present future, future, celebrating your difference, friends. As with reverb, you can control the delay effect in many different ways. I can take that same single echo and make it repeat many times. In my mind, in my mind, you're the very essence of the present future, future, celebrating your indifference. 
I can even make the delay echoes repeat at different times on the left and right stereo sides, creating what's called a ping pong effect. In my mind, you're the very essence of the present future, celebrating your indifference. Sometimes we use delay instead of reverb, but many times we use both. Let's take that same vocal track with delay on it and add some reverb as well. I'll talk slow face down so you might come around. With smaller words you better construct the sound. Now it sounds really wet, which is what we call a track with lots of effects. As you can hear, the effects bring life to the vocal track and make it sound more dramatic. You can use these effects simply to give a sense of realism to your song or you can go crazy and create wild and original sounds that will make your production stand out. If you'd like to learn more about reverb and delay, go to wave.com slash videos, where you can watch a variety of tutorials and hear demos of reverb and delay. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Waves YouTube channel for more sound basics with Stella.